Damage Control. Hi, I'm Brandon Kaiser for Damage Control. Pleased to introduce my friend Charles Heyman from 50 states of BJJ. This guy's doing the coolest project, man. He's out there doing jujitsu and rolling in every state in the US. He's already knocked 31 down and we just had a great time here in Salt Lake at Mushin. To check out his blog, go to 50statesofbjj.com. All right, so I wanted to show uh, something that Riley, Riley Bodycomb showed, but uh, apparently Damage Control has already got it. Damage Control already had it, man, and I understand he teaches at your home gym, is that that's right? right? That's awesome. right. Awesome. What, what a treat. So I want to show something just um, that, that I've kind of come up with that's, that's kind of important for me from, uh, from Neon Belly. So I find a lot of the time, if I come up here, and I start really driving in, he's gonna start putting his hands onto my knee. What happens is, of course, he can't keep his elbows directly on his body, so what happens is his elbows flare out. Both of them kind of flare out just, just a tad, and that's really all I need. So what I'm gonna do from here is I'm gonna take my top knee and put it right in the crook of his elbow. From here, I'm, I'm bringing uh, pressure on his, on his face here, making him look away. All right, now I'm grabbing that wrist, okay, as I switch my knees, okay? So what I'm doing here is I'm, I'm, oh, I'm having so brutal. a point of control where he can't actually turn away from me nope. and he can't actually turn into me either. That's as long as I'm holding this hand, but if I release and then grab and sit back down, now I've got that control and I don't even have to use my hands at all. So now I have, both hands free to work on other submissions. All right, so what, what I, I'm gonna do from here is just bury my face, put my hand under his, uh, under his armpit here, and drive his, drive, his, drive his hand up into a Komura position. From here, I'm gonna step over his head, bring him up, and it really doesn't matter here. If he, if he grabs, his, grabs his hands or grabs his legs, it doesn't matter. I'm keeping, my, I'm keeping my, uh, my chest tight, pulling away, up, and over. Okay, so I'm here on Neon Belly. I'm putting a lot of pressure on him. Okay, what happens is I see this little, this little triangle open up right over here. I put my knee in it. Okay, I'm turning away. Okay, I'm leaving this cross face here as I grab the wrist, push it down. I'm stepping over. Windshield wipering, grabbing his hand again, and pulling up, sitting directly on his bicep here. Now from here, I'm still down here with this cross face pressure. I'm coming over and grabbing under his armpit. With my shoulder, I'm forcing his hand forward, grabbing a Kimura grip, stepping over the head, chest, pull away, submission. That is awesome, man. And what I really like about it is you, it's, it's so predictable what a guy's gonna do when you put that kind of pressure on his belly. You know his hands are gonna come up to that leg nine times out of 10. So his predictability becomes your advantage and that's a very cool setup. So thank you so much, right. sir. Thank you. Don't forget to check out his blog at 50statesofbjj.com. What a cool project and what a great guest. Thank you, sir. Thanks, Brandon.